and how do you do folks how are you hey I've got what I got a brand new glass here uh, upslope uh, and I've got the upslope citra pale ale this was sent to me by one of my bestest beer buddies Dale Roberts uh, out of uh, Colorado Denver area Dale is well at this point I think he's kind of getting well known everywhere but he, I know he's extremely well known in the, the Colorado or Denver area specifically he is really the the craft beer guy from that neck of the woods um, if you're on social media, he's certainly somebody you want to look up, especially if you want to know something about um, uh, Colorado Craft Beer. He's got a, a group on Facebook called Craft Beer Central. Uh, you should look that up because Dale seriously knows his stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, that aroma is gorgeous. 5-9... Uh, 55 of the numbers. This one was canned on 716. <coughs> Let me uh, show you that there, if you can see that there. So it's just shy of two months old. I think we're still okay, though. Um, ingredient, snow melt, malt, citra, hops, and yeast. Very simple. Uh, specs, handcrafted aluminum can, portable. Okay, that's just the can. <laughs> okay, anyway. Juicy, distinctive, lively is what they say about it, so... Anyways, let me put that back there, strategically placed. I love this glass. I, when I first opened it up, I thought it was just a, a, you know, a standard pint or a shaker pint, but it's not. It's got a little kind of a, little kind of a funky, you know, kind of a, a shape there at the bottom there. So it's deceptive, man. And I love glassware. Dale knows I'm a glassware junkie. So uh, the aroma is gorgeous. Um, see if I can describe some of those aromas. I'm having serious problems because uh, ragweed is wicked right now, uh, and I've just been sneezing like nobody's business. My nose is running. If my nose runs and my feet smell, I'm built upside down. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, sorry guys, I'm losing my marbles. Uh, a lot of citrus up top. Uh, I'm also getting some uh, some spicy notes in there as well. Getting a lot of tropical fruit citrus, as you expect from a citra hop. I'm going to take a drink, and I'll keep talking. Oh, wow, that's 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 incredible. Um, wow, I... <laughs> day. Wow, uh, holy cow. Uh, wow, that sip was beautiful. Hold on, I'm going to take another one. Wish I had a bit of ink. I should have set this up better, because... The way it's hot out here and I'm sweating and when my shirt hangs, it looks you can really notice my man boobs. So I apologize for that. I hope I'm not nipping out at you. But anyways, oh, wow, oh, that beer is incredible. I'm a fan of this brewery. I really am. Dale sent me a lot from them. They're not available in my neck of the woods, but he sends me a, a lot from this brewery, and I am just a fan. Their Imperial IPA is second to none. It's just gorgeous. Um, several others have been uh, their, their Thai white IPA was really interesting because I mean I, I've said that I'm not a fan of a white IPA but that Thai was just ooh, I mean had notes of lemongrass I mean it was just gorgeous it was it was just unexpected I was expecting to go eh but it, was, it really was beautiful and what I've tried to do as, as a beer guy I'm not a beer reviewer I don't consider myself a beer reviewer because I don't give grades but what I try to do is, even if it's a beer or a beer style that's not necessarily in my wheelhouse, I try to look at it, uh, is it put together right? Even if it doesn't work for my particular palate, does it hit at the... Fucking flies are pissing me off. Does, does it hit in the right places, you know? Because a beer should come at you in the right spots. Do, do the flavors, do the malts and hops work together? Does everything, does it come together cohesively? And even if it's a style that doesn't quite work for me, I try to look at a beer that way. This, this one works for me on every level, i got to say. Uh, as I'm letting it sit here, I'm getting more... Uh, at first I was getting more pine notes, and now I'm getting more fruit notes. Uh, I get a mix of tropical fruit and stone fruit in the middle there. Uh, typically where your malt, malt would hit you on the palate. Uh, uh, again, a, a, a nice combination of, say, apricot and pineapple, something along those lines. It dries up beautifully in the end where I get uh, I, I get just a kind of a, a burst of grapefruit right at the end. 
and possibly some some mango and passion fruit like notes. Uh, it's, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, it's 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 absolutely gorgeous. Um, Five nine fifty five. I mean, statistically, those are large stats for an APA. I mean, it, it would even be normal stats for an IPA. Uh, of course, American craft IPAs have now gone crazy, but uh, traditionally those would certainly be alive. But they call it a, a pale ale, so I'm going to refer to it as an APA. It is a perfect summer APA. Uh, I'm not going to call it a session beer at 5'9", but it is one that you really want on a day like this because it is bright. I mean, it's a beautiful golden. It's it's, it's just inviting from the color to the aroma to the flavor. Everything just, it, it, I mean, again, it's just very inviting. Uh, it, it, it's perfect for the summer because it, it even though it is 5'9", which isn't small, uh, it, it does feel light on your palate. Uh, not that there isn't flavors, there's a lot of flavor, but it doesn't feel heavy on you. It just feels like a, it's, it's got all the summer flavors you want. You know, that, that big citrus, those tropical citrus. Uh, it just feels like summer. It's a beautiful beer. Upslope really knocks another one out of the park for me. Uh, and hold on. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. So I want to say thanks again to Dale for the glass and a whole bunch of great beer. He sent me a bunch. This is the first one I'm doing. He sent me a couple hoppy ones and a couple not so hoppy, and there's some other stuff. Um, so I want to do the, you know, I wanted, this was the oldest, so I want to do this pale ale first. So this time to Beer Whisper. Thank you, Dale. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Bye. Quick addendum as I just turned that camera off and I took a big old drink, I noticed another flavor. I said uh, at the end I got this big burst of, of grapefruit and now that I've let it, it's warmed a little on me, you do get that big burst of grapefruit right at the end, but I'm also getting a big burst of pine and, and some peppery like flavors right at the end, just a little bit of spice that just, just finishes off beautifully. So anyways, now I'm done, <laughs> I'm Tom the Beer Whisperer, thanks again Dale, I love you man and not in a creepy way, we'll talk to you later.